Welcome to my shop. In one of my other videos, I showed how to recharge an aerosol spray can with compressed air. So I thought I'd just do a separate video just showing that process. Right now I've got a WD-40 can and it's fairly low on, on um, propellant. So we're gonna try to refill it with compressed air. I've done this before and it works pretty well. I've got my compressor set at 50 PSI. So we don't wanna overfill this thing. I think some can go up to 100 or so, but I don't need to push my luck with these things. Some cans are rated for different pressures. So the principle is I've got this rubber tip that will engage with this nozzle here. And if I'm supplying compressed air at a greater pressure than what's in the can, it's gonna go into the can. So you wanna make sure you do it on a can that doesn't have greater pressure than your hose or it's gonna go the other way. So it takes about four hands to do this. Okay, so the order is going to be, we're gonna engage the compressed air. We're gonna open the compressed air valve. Then we're gonna push down on the nozzle. So we've got air pushing through. We don't want this to start coming back at us. So here goes. And it takes a few hands to do this. You engage the nozzle in that little opening and start supplying air Then push down on the aerosol can to let the valve open and let the air in. You'll hear it gurgle. Then let up on the aerosol nozzle and then let off on your compressed air.